All right, so we're back. So I was confronted by most of the team that I treated Malone unfairly by not letting him leave. And now that I've sold him, <laughs> they're pissed off. Where Where is the thing that you guys told me to let him go? Yeah, I'm going to go there. <laughs> Argumentative, so I'm going to outstretch arms and then back down. Confused, concerned, don't care. <laughs> I don't think Marcelo Bielsa would actually have a meeting with players about that. They would just be like, uh, that's what he did. Deal with it. All right. So, oh, and we got, we're going to be the home team in the first leg of that uh, Galatasaray uh, match when it, com when, it, when it comes up off air. Oh, I don't mind showing Shakhtar. I don't know anything about them. And they didn't kill anybody, to my knowledge. So that's always good. All right. I do want to hire a few scouts, so let me take care of this real quick. Uh, this is a young striker I decided to sell. I didn't think he had a ton of upside. I mean, he is okay, but he can't really play wing with his crossing and his finishing is below average. Uh, he is Ukrainian, but uh, he was like ninth, ninth on the depth chart, so we went ahead and sold him. Valued at 250 uh, we pick up nine uh, 550 for him, so he is off to somewhere else. All right, we're going to switch over to the other tactic, the one the the diamond. Uh, but uh, we have a number ten that's pretty decent and gives us a little more defensive presence. So I like that. Uh, Kavarchenko is back in the goal, so we'll give him uh, a match. See how he plays. A few changes in the squad. Well, that's a big stadium. Big stadium. Let's encourage him from the get-go. I think encourage is a good one here in this uh, version. All right, they're wearing the orange. Oh, we went for the steel there, but couldn't hold on to it. Nice control. Good ball out. Oh, drops it in neatly. Knocked away at the near post. That should have been a goal. Oh, my goodness. I might have to work on corners here. Come on, boys. Oh, lumped out. Oh, what a save. Kravchenko, what a save by the veteran keeper. It goes over the top. Zubkov is there. He misses it, but gets the rebound, and that's his first goal of the season, and we're up 1-0. That was a stroke of luck. Beautiful ball. Just bounced right to him. Probably should have scored, but good job getting over to the rebound and beating the keeper back to the net. Liking that. Zubkloff with the goal, and we are up 1-0. We do have a couple of guys already tired. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Oh, Zubkov controlled Tarasenko. Oh, taken down in the box. No penalty. And there's a counter on. Come on, boys. Close him down. That might have been a good place for a, uh, a taking a yellow for the team. But luckily, he's off target. One minute of stoppage time. Yeah, that's not what we wanted to do there. Oh, we missed the header from the left back. Deflected. Okay. Some good defensive work recovering back there. Headed out. All right, we've got runners coming. Play it through. Oh, I thought he had it. Oh, there it is to the runner. Into the corner, Philip Camps. He's playing that number 10 role. 
second goal of the first half in stoppage time, and we are going to be in the locker room. 2-0 advantage at the half. Krivostiak, I don't know, whatever his name, Kryptonite. He is dragging ass. Hopefully he recovers a little bit. I'm going to go outstretched arms, pleased with your performance. And we are back to it. Oh, and into the corner, knocked away. We'll take a corner. That was a brilliant save by the keeper. I thought that was in the net. Looking dangerous. Oh, what was that, Camps? That didn't look good at all. All right, let's make an early sub here. He is dying. Uh, let's see. Krostiak, where are you at? All right, Friedrich, we'll put you in. He'll come in at the next opportunity. A nice ball. Little triangle work going on back here on the left sideline. Oh, Camp's in some space. He's going to take a crack. That was not a good finish. Have we made that sub yet? Yes, we have. Okay. I didn't see the sub get announced. I was looking for it, but that's all right. All right. Let's make our other, our second sub here. And that's going to be Mazarenko. That's our defensive midfielder. Makarov, is that who I want in here? He can pass. He can head. He can mark, tackle. He's got decent pace. I like that sub. We're going to go ahead and do that. We are going to encourage the players. Yeah, shouldn't have done that, I guess. Near post. Hazardchenko. Little cheeky heel kick. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. God damn. Dribble less. <laughs> Dribble less. Just don't sit over there and just let him have it. Oh, he can lay it off right there. Oh, what a play by Kravchenko coming out and getting on that ball. That was nice. Good tackle. Right to him, though. Good block. I don't like that. Let's jump in here and slow the pace down when he's got the ball. And then we have Camps and got a couple of guys getting tired here. Both of our fullbacks, Fedor for Michelin, Michelin Man, Rib, Rib, ah, geez. Rib, Ribkovsky, Ribkovsky, I like him. He doesn't have the... Uh, crossing but i like his pace so we'll do that get some fresh legs on that back side uh, let's give a praise let's do that hopefully we can give the shout before they score and another save was there an offsides or something there that was interesting All right, they get one highlight here, 30 seconds to go. Header is off the mark. I think they had they had a lot more shots, but oh, and there comes the praise shout. Little late. Little late. There's a lump up game. And have we won silverware? Is that what's happening here? I didn't realize we were in the final. That's interesting. All right, hey, my second match, and we're hoisting silverware. You guys can kiss my ass thinking I don't know what I'm doing, uh, and I'm talking to the team, not not you guys. Hey, silverware, woo! 
too. Look at that. We won the Super Cup. I just assumed that was a, you know, first round, you know, early match. Oh, there we go, a cartwheel. You, you've got too much energy, man. You needed to focus more on the field. Well, I like that. That's good. They had the better XG, but we had the goals. Six of nine on target. They only had three of 17. And evidently, we have won. Outstretched arms. That was really special. We lift the Super Cup. Nice. Wondering what was expected there. Let's go find out. All right, so we lift the Super Cup. Awesome. 63000 in the bank. A win. Shakhtar was the defending champs, and they have won three of the last six. So that's a big deal. Cajun leads Valen Lutsk to glory. Oh, by the way, the nickname for the team is the Crusaders. So I like that. I did look that up. And competition. They just didn't want us to be outclassed. And you know what? I dare say we were not. Hey, guys. All right, I am back. <clears throat> I had to split up that last episode. I ended up doing uh, the cup match in, as part of episode one, but then it ran real long. So I made the executive decision to cut that out. And uh, therefore, I needed to record another match for this episode. So that's what we're going to do now. So sorry for jumping around and having the extra match here. But, you know, it's what I had to do. And uh, I'm going to be a little quieter in this uh, because it's 2.45 in the morning uh, on Friday. Uh, as I alluded to earlier, I've got some things going on with my mom. We just got word uh, yesterday afternoon that she is not doing well. She's been, she was put in a nursing home about, uh, about two months ago, and uh, she's diabetic, and uh, she's having a lot of complications, and they're going to have to amputate her uh, right leg uh, this morning. Uh, I guess she goes into surgery early around 8 o'clock our time and uh you know just with all the emotional stuff going on i just couldn't sleep so um uh, anyway i've been up since about 12 30 i guess and uh rendering some videos and just uh you know spending some time with you guys uh so yeah you know i do appreciate it but i am gonna you know i am off camera because it's so early in the morning i don't want the bright lights in my face right now so uh that's why uh no camera and uh that'll be back on when when i feel better and am awake <laughs> and i also need to be quiet because everybody else is sleeping luckily it, there won't be uh outside of the cats maybe you probably won't hear uh any of the traditional household noise you guys normally hear in my episodes uh real quick we do have a little bit of news to talk about i have signed a player uh, so you saw we had moved uh, James Malone last time for $23 million. We also moved uh, Ponomarev to Mikhailov for up to $700,000. He was a uh, young winger. Didn't really think he was a good enough striker, and he was way down the list. So I think we talked about him earlier. But uh, I have just signed my first player, and he is a goalkeeper. And he's pretty good. Three and a half star current, four star potential. He's only 23 years old from Czechoslovakia. Valued at 4.1. And as you saw, we got him for $950,000. So very happy. He has, you know, first touch, still not sweeper keeper worthy, really, but he can pass the ball. Very good reflexes, really good agility and jumping reach. His one-on-ones are really good. If we compare him with uh, Carroll, Carroll is our younger guy that played in the first match when our starting keeper was injured. So we can you can look at the comparison here. Uh, so a little bit better first touch, 
Handling is still good. Passing is better. Kicking one-on-ones is a little bit better. Command of area is a lot better. Aerial reach is a lot better. Agility is a lot better. Balance is a lot better. So I just felt he would be a better number one, especially getting him well under value. So uh, that's what we've done. We've signed him. I think he is going to be my new number one keeper. We have uh, inked him to a deal. So let's get to it. Uh, today, we uh, in this match, today, like I'm starting a brand new video, but uh, because for me mentally it is, but this is the second match of this episode. We're playing Dnipro, and there was something about this club Loki Doki did this, I believe it was part of his journeyman save, and I don't remember if this was early in FM20, it might have been FM19, but uh, there was something about this where the club, the backstory on the club in real life was very interesting. If you're interested in that, go find Loki's video, um, but it was something to it to the effect of the owner owed all kind of money so he folded the club and restarted it or something it was something odd but anyway uh they are heavily favored they're usually at the top of the table near the top of the table so i am going to go with um i'm going to go with this tactic as we said it's a little more defensive and i don't know why those boxes are changing colors without doing anything but that's okay so we're going to have susak and zublob up top um, McCaleb in the number 10 role, Parashenko and Krivosoyak on the wings, Mazarenko in that defensive holding midfield, Fedor, Redanov, Bidnyi, and Tarasenko at the back line. And I want to give first start to our new goalkeeper. Let's let him get in here and see what happens. Uh, you know what? No, no, no. I'm going to go with uh, Kavrachenko. We had to send Heidenreich out on a, uh intensive language course, and he's only been here a day. So let's keep him on the bench. Ke uh, Kravchenko, let's get him, if he has a good outing, shop window, right? I think that's a good way to look at it. All right, well, let's get to the match. Let's give an early shout of encouragement. And we are in the white. So just for comparison. All right, Tarashenko, nice steal. Susick breaks past his man. And he takes a ping at the goal. And we get a shot there. And it's knocked away for a corner. There's our shout of encouragement. That was a low line drive header. Fedor comes in and corrals that ball. Come on, boys. Really regretting the uh, that late goal that we conceded in the first match. Back post. There's a scramble. Oh, taken down. Oh, he gives the advantage. Plays it all the way back to the keeper. Kravchenko. Lumps it forward. A little flick on header. Zublov. Oh, he should have slotted that inside to his partner. Just wide of the mark. Come on, fellas. Oh, nice control there. Certainly uh, a little bit better club than we would be used to starting with in a journeyman I hope you guys don't mind the the way that you know I ended up setting up the manager and everything else oh boy that was a dangerous header back across the face of the goal big attack by by Kryovsky or whatever his name is and he beats the keeper powered it through his hands that's his second goal of the season at the near post, and we take a 1-0 lead. 
and let's encourage the team. That was a nice goal. 34th minute. That's setting us up to be near the top of the table. And we'll be happy going in at the half here. What do we want to tell the guys? Uh, let's pump. Nope. Yes, outstretched arms. Keep it up. There we go. Uh, Heidenreich already complacent. Jesus. Not, not keen on that. I'll set piece into the box. Why is... Why is the ball going out this way and he drifted in from here to here instead of going out? That's unusual. And then he's just kind of coasting along. <laughs> wow. Who is that? Mikolev. What position are you playing? Oh, you're okay. You're the shadow striker, I, I guess. Don't want to help your team there any? Oh, what a blast by Vulik. Wow. Man, that he could have killed our keeper with that shot. He almost couldn't even see him take that shot. That was a brutal. Oh, man. Call the homicide detectives. He almost killed a man. All right, we're back on a draw. Uh, let's see, six, 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 four. Everybody's playing okay. Don't want to make a sub at this point. That's the that's the question. Arashenko. We can bring Simic on for him. Let's do that. And Zubkov is only playing a six, four. 28. He needs to play better. Who do I have on the bench for him? Uh, Simic. But Simic's out on the wing. How about what about Camps? Yeah, let's give Camps a, let's give Camps a run in here. See what that does. Let's uh, demand more. Oh, he just lumps that forward. Camps is on the ball, and he slots it home. Second goal of the season. Super sub. I am a tactical genius. And anybody who watches my channel knows that that is about as far from the truth as you can get. That was interesting. Just threw it. Took a lucky bounce, I think. But we are going to... Celebrate that. Oh, Susak beats his man on the turn. He's on a breakaway into the goal. And that was a poor finish. Poor finish. All right, I do want to jump into the tactic and let's slow the pace down. I like doing that around the 70 to 75 minute mark if we have a lead. And let's see. So they're saying Christiax, and he is mid right, or Harasento, who is our right back. That might be a good shout here. A Tarasenko. He's got good natural fitness. Stamina is actually really good, too. Who do we have to come in for him? That's the big question. And there is the biggest problem. He is, you know what? What about, let me check something here. He can play right back. What if we do, what if we do this? We're going to bring on Izev. And then we'll move him into that defensive mid and strengthen both of those spots. I like that. I like that call. And uh, encourage. 
All right, head it out, but they still pick it up. Back on the attack. Ooh, get rid of the ball. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Oh, brilliant pass, Suzak. And he beats the keeper to the goal, and it's 3-1. Oh, that was, that was a brilliant buildup. What a counter. Camps comes across just a brilliant touch pass right up to Suzak. And he did the same thing last time when he had that last chance. He took it one step to the right to set an angle. But this one, he gets it past the keeper to the corner. Last time, he put it right into the keeper's bread basket. Three to one. Oh, and Camps is all over that ball. He is bucking for a starting position here. Oh, he tried to turn that right foot on it, and he bounces it off the post. All right, can't give a shout yet. Oh, there's a good run. Lay it off into the middle. It bounces off, and Camp slots it home. His second since coming on, and he has broken this game open almost single-handedly. Wow. So where's Camps? Is this him here? Yeah. So he held up, dropped back into the channel. Oh, just found the space, was there for the rebound. That was a beautiful play. Both parts. Poor finish on the first one, but what a run. And we have got to be extremely happy with that. And Camps may not be done. Look at that outlet pass to Suzak. Oh, was he offsides? That was close. All right, we reverse it. There's it through Suzak. Oh, boy, that would have been a nice finish. But we'll be happy with a 4-1. Nothing wrong with that at all. Over the top. They're going to have a chance here. And that gets headed over the goal. We're going to waste a little bit of time. We don't have any more subs, guys. So, uh, yeah, ignore that. Camps has looked really solid out there. And there we go. What a win. What a win. Camps with an 8.6. Jeez. Player of the match coming off the bench. Gotta like that. Uh, we are going to outstretch arms. That was really special. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go against the assistant manager there. And that puts us top of the table on goal differential, fellas. I don't think we were expecting that coming into this match. But uh, that looks really, really nice. Camps, yes. Putting my arm around him. I was impressed with how you led the line. Hello? We're going to go that route. Touted as one of the best. Yeah, I think he's going to be... Man, we're going to have to consider him in a starting role. Big time. Big time. All right, well, now we can actually end this episode now that I have two matches for it. So, uh, again, we will come back uh, after, that, uh, after that Euro Cup. And I think we had talked about coming back here right at the end of August, first match of September. That way we can also wrap up transfer window and everything else. So let me get to playing some matches off camera. And uh, we will see you guys next episode. Thanks so much for bearing with me through this. And uh, if I do disappear for a couple of days, uh, you guys can guess that uh, something has gone wrong. Uh, but I will try to keep you up to date on Twitter if, uh, if something like that happens. So uh, definitely the best place to kind of follow me is over on Twitter for any update information. And, uh, you know, don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you get notifications for the content 
So just a reminder, looking at uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for this series, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for my other football manager, uh, single team save with uh, De Graaf Shop in uh, the Netherlands, uh, if you're interested in that one. Guys, thank you so, so, so much, and we will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.